Today is March 3rd, 2011, approximately 6.15 p.m. And this is another project that we've just got, or we've had for a little bit, we haven't done anything yet. 99 Ford Escort ZX2 belonged to a friend of mine. He was driving it to uh, Harrison, Arkansas for a funeral, and on the way back, it started making engine noise, losing power, check engine light come on, and uh, so they stopped. It was really low on oil. They put oil in it and babied it on the way home, called me. It's got a very uh, noticeable miss. It has no power, no get up and go, and the check engine light was on at the time that I test drove it. Uh, the engine is a 2.0 liter dual overhead cam BCT, I believe it's a ZTEC engine. And uh, we drove the car to Stillwell, Oklahoma, parked it to let it cool the next morning. Did not want to start. I mean, it did not want to start. Fought it, had to recharge the battery like three times. Finally did get it to start. It had some massive blow-by. And uh, he done a compression test and we've got one cylinder. And it's either cylinder two there or cylinder three there. That is like 25 pounds of compression is all it's got. And the other cylinders are a little sporadic but not too bad. So... We're going to show you how it runs. I just got the car running again because after we done all that to it, the compression test and everything, it wouldn't run, wouldn't start. I pulled the plugs about 30 minutes ago, cleaned the plugs up, and um, put it all back together, put the plugs in, you know, and, and got it to start. It's got that predominant miss. Doesn't appear to be losing coolant, so I don't believe we blow the head gasket. Of course, we don't have a functional temp gauge. So let's see what we got here. Not going to touch the accelerator. Alright, so we will have to touch the accelerator. Just a hair. Oh, now it's not going to want to start. Come on, baby. Okay, I've got it running now. It was a bit picky there. When it warms up, it don't like to run. I'm trying to feather the accelerator here. Okay, I'm not touching it at all. So before I lose daylight, let's get out to the engine and show you. You can already hear a miss and a tap. And that tap gets louder as you're if you're sitting with the thing in gear, which you better have your foot on the accelerator now if you're gonna have it in gear. And it's getting kind of dark. I don't think it's gonna show anything coming out of that cam sensor opening but let's pull this valve cover oil filler cap look at that I mean it's like I could put my hand over it and I could just feel the pressure coming out of there you can hear it too hissing as I put the cap back on it trying to fight the cap this is actually worse than this after we've done the compression test. Uh, very pronounced miss. Uh, a lot of blow-by, which is leading me to believe we've got lower end issues. And if we can find something to demonstrate with... We'll go back to the tailpipe here. And... Ah, oh, there's something. Piece of styrofoam cup. Ordinarily, I've been told that this is the way to determine if you got a head gasket issue. It should not suck the paper back to the tailpipe at all. But it's kind of thing. It's actually kind of wanting to pull it. It's tearing it out of my hand. Of course, I can only assume that having a cylinder that's practically dead would give you the same result. So, 
I went to a tool store and I purchased a cylinder bleed down tester kit and the first time I'm home with some extra time nice bright sunny day and no rain I'll try to demonstrate how to utilize it and determine for myself where our compression is going given the pressure that's coming out of the valve cover there and the very predominant miss I'm going to say that in all likelihood we've got an engine that is no longer yearn for this world and I'm going to have to locate another engine now the owner of this vehicle ex owner already purchased a 99 ZX2 Sport which is different from this see if we can tell the mileage here 164 168 so 164,168 miles that's in my opinion for a newer Ford quite a lot of mileage but this is our project this car belongs to me now in lieu of money owed from previous uh, endeavors he uh, turned the vehicle over to me and as soon as I have either an engine to put in it or determine for certain that this engine is in bad it is in fact bad we're going to uh, hopefully fix this car detail it inside and out clean up the paint wax whole nine yards and then put it on the market for about fifteen hundred dollars which would allow me to pay off my pickup truck either way this is the most recent project we have today and not the last so thanks for watching and as always if you have any comments without profanity I would hope feel free and if you're in the area of Adair County and know where I can lay my hands on a two liter engine dual overhead cam uh, ZTEC I think that's what they call them at a reasonable price well, I would definitely like to hear from you. And we will be uh, making additional videos on this vehicle as we make some progress. So, thank you for watching.